Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sanky 84 and welcome back to Flight of the Amazon Queen, where last time we got introduced to Joe and Sparky, and we were imprisoned and had to escape. And then we ended up getting on our plane after punching someone out and then crashing because we got hit by lightning. So today... Well, we need to go exploring and see what we can figure out. So, first things first, we've got a bag. So, it's closed. Okay, open it then. And I just found a knife and a lighter. Well, that was handy. How are things, Sparky? It could be better, Joe. The plane is pretty badly damaged. How long will it take you to fix her? Fix her? You need more than a mechanic to fix the queen, Joe. You need a miracle worker. Can you stop the water leak? I can slow it down a little, but I'm afraid she's gonna sink. We gotta find a way off the plane. What supplies do we have? Just about everything's been water damaged, including my new Commander Rocket comic. I got some beef jerky if you're feeling hungry. I'm starved. I'd love some beef jerky. Here you go, Joe. Don't eat it all at once, or you could end up like me. What, a mechanic? No, just slightly on the larger size. Though I have lost some weight lately. But that's probably because we haven't had a paying customer for months. Hang in there. I'll try, Joe. Hey. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe? I just found one of your comic book coupons. Is it the Commander Rocket Authentic Secret Pocket Rocket Decoder Ring Coupon? That's the one. Unfortunately, it's all soggy. Gosh darn it. That page was from my new Commander Rocket comic, which means the rest of the comic must have been damaged in the crash. Sorry, pal. You might as well keep it, Joe. I'll try and get a new one later. One that's in mint condition. Okay, right, um... It's a Pocket Rocket Decoder Ring coupon clipped from a Commander Rocket comic. There's part of a blueprint on the back of it. Okay, well, um, have a look at that in a bit. These crates are made out of rainforest timber. Okay, and what do you got to say for yourself, Faye? Look, M Miss Russell, I understand you're upset. Damn right I am. I'm mad as hell! I'm not too happy either, lady. But you ain't helping things. Why should I help? This is your mess. You clean it up. Why don't you quit your whining for a moment? Whining? Why, I haven't even started yet, mister! You think you've got problems? I wrecked my plane over you. Over me? How dare you? You didn't have to fly me into this hellhole. No one held a gun to your head. I bet Anderson would have done the job right. Maybe you should quit while you're ahead. It's too late, Buster. If I'd have done that sooner, then I wouldn't be in this mess. I've had enough. Not as much as I have. Now go do something useful. Okay, fine. Right, let's um, get out of here. Ooh, lovely. Okay, so it's beyond repair. Yeah. Well, let's... there's no way I'm gonna put my arm in the water with those piranhas around. Okay. Well, it's a good job we've got some beef jerky. Here you go, fishies. Okay, fine. It would make a great boat, but I need some sort of paddle. Oh, you mean like, uh, the propeller? The stem is holding the lily pad in place. Okay, okay, fine. Where is it? The knife on the stem. That should do the trick. And then we'll use it. Hey guys, hop on board. I'm gonna row this lily pad to the bank.
Is this safe? Maybe you'd rather stay in the plane? I think I'll risk the lily pad. Okay, guys. I want you to stay here while I go get some help. I'm gonna try and find a telephone and call Al's Air Rescue. While you're at it, give your lawyer a call, too. You're going to need him when we get out of this mess. Ha ha ha. I think you should stick to drama, Faye. Comedy isn't you. Okay, guys. I won't be too long. Excuse me, Joe. Yes, Sparky? I was wondering if you could do me a favor. What sort of favor? Well, if you find the shop, could you see if they have any Commander Rocket comics? Comics? My copy of Commander Rocket vs. the Mob got water damaged in the crash. I'd really appreciate it if you could find me a new one. Okay, Sparky. I'll have a look. But I can't guarantee anything. After all, we're in the Amazon jungle. Thanks, Joe. Okay, so look out for a comic sh book shop and look for a lawyer. Fine. Let's get out of here. Uh, which side are we on? Oh. Fine. So, yeah, the bridge doesn't look too safe. It looks too dangerous to cross. Um, this rope really needs replacing. Okay, well that's fine. We'll uh, head back and go the other way there. What a pretty bird. Polly want a cracker? Uh oh, Princess Azura is in trouble. Uh oh. Hey, you can talk. Help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Uh oh. Oh, squawk. Who's Trader Bob? And who's Princess Azura? Squawk. I'm being held captive. You must save me. Uh oh. What on earth are you talking about? Who's holding who captive? Squawk! Uh oh Help me, Trader Bob! You're my only hope! Uh-oh! Squawk! Hey! Come back here! That's just great. I've only just arrived in the jungle, and already I get a cryptic message. Maybe this Trader Bob character can shed some light. Hey, so... Yeah, thank you, Bird 2 d But before we do, we've got a vine. This vine looks strong enough to hold my weight. It's a bit too strong for me to break. Use the knife. Good. Right. Oh, we'll look at using that in a bit. But first, let's carry on exploring. Ah, monkey. Okay, well, we know what he wants. First. Um, hi. I'm Joe King. <coughs> Did a parrot come through here recently? <coughs> I guess that's, uh, no. Hey, well, let's go and get that banana then, shall we? And back here, well, use the vine with rope. That should. There we go. Get us round to the banana. Grab that and anything else around here while we side. Boy, there sure are a lot of bananas up there. Anyone? They're not ripe enough. No, okay, that's fine. They were green. Right. That seems to be everything. Right. Back to the monkey. Ape, gorilla, whatever it is. Right, give banana to gorilla. Here, have a banana. <laughs> banana. 
Mm-hmm. Hello again. <laughs> um... Sorry, pal, but I don't speak ape. Unga. <laughs> What's that? Two words. Is it a movie? <laughs> oh god, here we go. Let's have a game of charades then. First word sounds like Ming. Hunga Chup Warip A King. The first word is King, isn't it? Hunga, hunga. <laughs> okay, um I've worked it out. It's King Kong. <laughs> hunga, hunga. I can't believe I just played charades with an ape. Hunga, hunga. <laughs> Say, uh, you're a gorilla, ain't ya? Uh huh. Uh, unga, unga, uh, uh, gorilla. Um. Yes. I thought gorillas came from Africa. I thought gorillas came from Africa. Chunga, uh, unga. Uh, 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 uh. Say, buddy, I think you're right. Gorillas are only found in Africa. This is South America. You shouldn't be here. Gee, you're right. I guess I'd better get going then. How freaky. A phantom primate. <laughs> okay, yeah. Definitely love this game. Let's uh, get moving on then. We didn't need the banana. Meanwhile, back at the crash site. That creep has left us here. He makes me so mad. I feel better now. That was expensive perfume. So, I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. What are you going to do now? I'm going for help. But Joe said to stay put. Well, he can go jump in the lake. Okay, right. And, uh, oh, hello, dog. He doesn't look too happy. Nice doggy. <laughs> What a cute doggy. I won't hurt you. All I want to do is walk past you. Are you hungry? Thanks for the talk. Go King. Animal Whisperer. Full of sweet nectar. Yes, we can. Right, okay. Oh, hello. These mannequins are wearing later hosen. I, she got I to was say. wondering if you could help me. That depends. What do you want? Do you have a phone that I could use? I'm sorry, but we don't have a telephone. What's that on your desk? An alarm clock? Har, har, har. You're a real comedian. That phone happens to be out of order, and the repairman isn't due for another day. 
I'm lost, and I was hoping you could help me. What does this look like? An information bureau? If you want help, go talk to the fat guy at the convenience store. I'm curious. What are you guys doing in the jungle? Um, ah, uh, we have a lederhosen factory. We make lederhosen for export to Europe. Who are you, anyway? Are you the fumigator? Yes, I'm the fumigator. Yes, ma'am. I'm the fumigator. For security reasons, I need some proof that you are who you say you are. May I see your equipment? That's a bit personal, isn't it? If you don't show me your spray pack, I can't let you in. Hey, um... It's in Toledo. Well, that's no good. You better go get it. Okay, right, so we're gonna need a spray pack or something to get in with. Alright. And... I don't think I've got any... Oh, wait a minute, I've still got... Some jerky. No way, it ain't Christmas yet. Alright, okay. Not what I'm gonna do. I want that. Go back up this way now, and see where else I can get to. Right, okay, so... Ah, Trader Bob! There we go. Hey, Bob? Are you Bob? Hello, what are you looking at? Did you hear me, big guy? Where's the Pygmy Village? Do you come from around here? You still aren't gonna talk to me, are you? I give up. <laughs> nice smile. Dedicated to Pini, the great god of fertility. Hey, and... Welcome to Trader Bob's 24-hour general store and authentic native village playground. Okay, well, get in and there's Trader Bob's. Talk to the chief, yes. Hi, I'm Joe King. Sorry, I don't understand. I beg your pardon? Can you speak English? I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. Hey, right, and what about the crazy woman? Hi, I'm Joe King. Nope. Sorry, I don't understand. I beg your pardon? Can you speak English? I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. Right, let's get into Bob's then. So we meet again, my fine feathered friend. Howdy, son. My name's Trader Bob. I run this shop with Naomi over there. What can I do for you? Are you the same Trader Bob that this parrot told me about? Maybe. What else did that parrot tell you? Well, he told me about some princess. Azura, I think her name was. He said that she was in trouble. Listen, buddy. We gotta talk. What's your name? My name's King, Joe King, pilot for hire. Well, Joe, Princess Azura is a good friend of mine and she's been kidnapped. I don't know who's responsible, but I have my suspicions. I may need your help in finding her. Are you interested? Okay, um... Why do you need my help? Can't you do it yourself? The people I suspect of kidnapping Azura know me as her friend. 
They'd be very suspicious if I showed up snooping around. No one in the jungle knows who you are. I'm a pilot for hire, not a detective. And I'm the owner of an authentic native village and 24-hour convenience store. Sometimes we gotta do things that we never planned on doing. Okay, I'll help. Fill me in on the details. Great. I knew you'd help. I think that Floda, a lederhosen company, kidnapped Azura. She was last seen near their camp earlier today. It'd be great if you could check the place out. What makes you think that Floda kidnapped her? A number of other people have gone missing near there. Besides, Floda has electric fences and vicious guard dogs. Isn't that a little odd for a clothing company? What's a lederhosen company doing in the Amazon? Exactly. From what I can tell, the lederhosen is just a cover for their real activities. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure it's no good. What exactly is lederhosen? Lederhosen? Why, it's clothing. You know, sort of like leather shorts, I think. Not the sort of thing you'd wear in this hot weather. Now that I have the details, I guess I'll be off. You'll find Floater on the other side of the pinnacle. Be careful, Joe. And if you need any more help, just ask. Okay, right, well, that, um, have a look what we can get. Essential for Amazon fishing. I'd hate to put my bare hands into piranha-infested waters. Okay. Great German composers. Elevator Muzak collection. Just my luck, it's out of order. Yuck, aniseed balls. Who'd want to wear mouse ears on their head? Hmm, it's one of those Swedish wildlife films. I don't touch the stuff, it gives me gas. Let's see if Naomi's got anything to say. Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Can I help you? Where did you learn to speak English? The missionaries in the jungle can speak pygmy, so they taught me how to speak English. I'm the only one in my village that can speak it fluently. How come Bob over there didn't teach you? Bob's a nice guy and all, but his grasp of the English language is a little limited. He thinks grandma is the person who washes his grandfather's sock. <laughs> Where can I find these missionaries? They have their mission in the jungle. If you're thinking of asking them to teach you pygmy, forget it. They won't teach you for nothing. Thanks for your time. That's okay. Hey, alright. So, nothing else. Fine. Actually, if I was to give him the coupon. No way, it ain't Christmas yet. Ain't okay, maybe not. I wonder if the tank was full of goldfish this morning. It's empty. That's right, son. A new supply of beef jerky should be through any day now. Hey, okay, what if I was to... That doesn't seem... Oh, okay, fine. Ooh. It's a self-powered model, though it looks more like a bug exterminator's kit. Mm, you know what, see if you can have it. Excuse me, how much is this thing here? That thing is a vacuum cleaner, son, and I'm afraid that costs more than you can afford. How do you know what I can afford? Fine. Um... Okay, let's have a look around and see what other locations there are. Oh, meanwhile, in a secret bunker deep underground. Has there been any success in finding the crystal skull? Uh, not yet, Dr. Einstein. I have my best men looking for it in the temple. 
must have that skull soon. It's the key to gaining entry to the Valley of the Mists. Yeah, and to obtaining more dinosaur samples. Exactly. And with my new dino ray, I can begin building my army of dinosaur women. Excellent, sir. Then I shall rule the world! <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Hey! So, fine. And. Uh, ooh, we've got ourselves an outhouse. Ah, the local reading room. There's some graffiti on the door. Kilroy was here. Okay. Oh, sorry. I thought it was empty. <laughs> um, that doesn't seem to work. Okay, now we'll just leave the door open for them. Air it out a bit. Um, tentacle and, as I say, see what other locations there are. So we've got the crash site. We've got Bob. We've got... Cam, Jetty, Gen Generic Jungle, okay, um, let's check out the, them. Not much here by the looks of it. Gone fishing, back later, the ferryman. Okay, fine. Oh, we shall have to wait. That's not a flag. It's a tea towel from the pirate ride at Disneyland. Hey, can I um, have it? I don't think I need that. Okay, fine. That's what you think. And we shall come back later. And... Neric Jungle, let's have a look. Salvation? The small print says, Every Sunday with Jimmy and Mary Lou. So, let's just find our way through. Oh, old clock. Well, it's hanging out over the ravine. Okay. Um, we'll leave that for now. Need to worry about it. Oh, hello, who are you? Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Bud, and my friend here is Skip. We're explorers. Are you guys professional explorers? Uh-huh. That's why we're wearing these spiffy safari jackets and neat pith helmets. Yes, they're quite nice. Gee, thanks. Our safari suits are fashionable yet practical. And our pith helmets help create an air of professionalism. What are you looking for in this jungle? We're trying to find the legendary lost tribe of Amazon women. Why do you want to find a tribe of Amazons? We were previously captured by them. They took us to their secret Amazon fortress. And then they... they... I'd rather not say what they did. What did they do to you? Well, after they captured us, they used us for certain... services. The sort of services that only men can provide, if you know what I mean. No, I don't really know what you mean. You know, they made us do things that... Only men have the equipment for. What? Like fixing the thermostat and cutting the grass? Oh, I give up. Yes, they made us fix the thermostat, cut the grass, and take out the garbage. It was dreadful. Hey, right, well. Do you want to get revenge for being captured? No way. We want to be captured again. How did you get away? Did you escape? Are you kidding? We wanted to stay there. You see, 
I've got this embarrassing... Rash. It's from the jungle heat, you know. They saw that and kicked us out. Where is your rash? Um, I'd rather not say. It's rather embarrassing. I'm willing to pay lots of money to get rid of it. Boy, it's hot here. Is it always this hot? You bet it is. It's so hot that you can chafe and end up with a rash. Just like I have. I tell you, a rash cure in this jungle would be worth money. Gee, if I find one, I'll let you know. Thanks. Okay, and let's see what Skip's got to say. Hi, my name's Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Skip, jungle explorer and comic collector. What sort of things have you discovered? Well, my partner Bud and I have discovered the ancient wooden chicken of Talmaxa Quarter, the mystical toothpick of the great King Manaputu, and the sacred crown of the Sun King. I thought the sacred crown of the Sun King was unearthed last century. Yeah, but the Museum of Mexico lost it in their collection. We helped them find it again, which was no easy task. It took more than three days to look through 50 cardboard boxes. What comic book were you reading? Commander Rocket vs. the Mob. It's really good. I've got every issue of the comic. I even have number one sealed in plastic and buried in my backyard. My friend loves reading Commander Rocket. Another Rocket fan right here in the jungle. What a small world. Here's a message for him in Commander Rocket code. G-S-R-H-R-H-V-H-V-X-I-V-G-N-V-H-H-Z-T-V. Hey, right, um, I completely missed that. Thankfully, with the magic of Edison, I can check it later. Fine. Um, yeah, let's carry on. My friend has every issue of Rocket but one. Really? Which one is he missing? Uh, uh, it was the mob? I think that was what it said. The one where he battles the Chicago mob. That's the very comic that I've got here. I've got a spare copy at home. If you want, you can have this one. Thanks. This'll make Sparky's day. I'm sure it will. I understand how important this'll be to your friend. Those shorts you have on are really swell. Where did you buy them? I don't know. My mommy buys all my clothes for me. I gotta go now. Goodbye! Okay, uh, oh, he just happens to have a another one. Okay, doll. Tell us where your pops hid in the Model X7 atomic brain tubes, and we'll let you go. Never! Leaping lizards. Professor Harbuckle was right. Those thugs have kidnapped his daughter, Stacy. Smash! Oh, no. It's Commander Rocket. Get him, boys. Zap! Zap! Woof! What did you do to them? I immobilized them momentarily with my atomic stun gun. We have no time to lose. Jumping jackrabbits. My rocket pack is out of gas. Bleep, bleep. Looks like I picked the wrong day to quit the bottle. Bada, 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 bada. That's very potent alcohol you have there. It just might work in my rocket pack. Hey, go easy with that stuff. It costs money. Eat lead, rocket. He got away. Oh, rocket, you're such a dream. The American dream, ma'am. Oh. Wow, what do you know? A loose page fell out of the comic book. Okay, on that note then, I think we will end it there. Because, yeah, I think that's the perfect spot to end today's episode. We've uh, done a fair bit of exploring. We've spoken to a gorilla that was from Africa who just disappeared. 
We've met Trader Bob. And we've managed to get a page out of a comic book. So we can now figure out what that message was. So, as I say, I think we'll leave it there this week. And we'll carry on next week. So, I hope you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been Sam Katie 4. This has been Light of the Amazon Queen. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other. And until next time. Bye.